Hey everyone, what's up? How you guys doing? Today I'm going to share my Fame Expo 2014 haul with you and I'm so excited to share everything I got because honestly I got a lot more stuff than I planned on getting and it was just, they had so many great deals and I got to meet so many amazing people. I just want to say first off in this video, thank you to those of you who came up to me and said hi and it was so fun just like getting to actually meet some of you in person and take pictures and just give hugs and it was so cool cool like I didn't think that many people would be there but I ended up meeting like a lot of people I was there both days June 28th and June 29th we had um, VIP passes I went with my boyfriend and um, also I just wanted to say thank you to him because he like totally stuck it out and he had never been to like any anything like this before he had no idea what to expect and like he was like oh my gosh there's so much makeup everywhere and like it was it was so funny like just seeing his reaction to everything I, I think he was a little overwhelmed but you know at these kind of shows it really is a little overwhelming because there are a lot of people there and there's just so much to see and so much to do and I will have a separate kind of like um, vlog video just about the experience I had so I will be making that a little bit later but first let's get into the haul and I cannot believe oh my gosh you guys Makeup Geek was there and they had their new blushes so of course I had to pick some of those up because I've been seeing all of the swatch videos and I of course I watched Marlena's video about the new blushes and they all looked so gorgeous and I ended up picking up quite a few these are all makeup geek blushes I put them in my little Z palette I also purchased this at fame expo the Z palette was like $15 and this is their largest size so here's the little Z palette and then here are the um, eight blushes that I picked up these are eight really gorgeous colors and I did take a picture of every blush that they had I took a picture of the blush display and I put it on Instagram so if you want to see that go check it out so yeah these are the makeup geek blushes that I decided to pick up I got eight of them and um, I just really um, you know picked up every one that I liked because they were on sale so it was just kind of hard to pass up and they were $10 each so that's not bad especially for the quality like I was blown away when I swatched them I haven't worn them on my skin yet but I'm telling you guys these are seriously pigmented and they feel amazing um, I, I really love the fact that they're soft but they're not chalky or powdery at all it's insane and then I also went really crazy on the eyeshadows and the eyeshadows were $6 each you guys so it's a really good deal and I mean I had to just get the ones I wanted and I, I picked up mostly neutrals I have like a few bright colors here but mostly neutrals and you guys know I love love neutral shadows so here's what they all look like can you see it there we go here's all of the shadows and I put them in this hot pink Z palette I love the Z palette because you can see through it but it's also got like a nice magnetic closure and um, I brought I purchased the Z palette at Fame Expo they were there and um, anyway I didn't um, I still got room for more so you know maybe at eye mats or something I also got a bunch of makeup geek pigments and I left some of them in the box but I had to rip open some of them like right away because they were that pretty and the first one that I ripped open is called afterglow and I'm wearing it on my lids right now I just used it this morning you guys and I think it's stunning it's, can you see it it's like it's like a kind of like a champagne shimmery gold and like in the sun it looks more gold than champagne I'm sorry there's a bunch of trucks right outside my window anyway um, I love this shade it's so so gorgeous and these were also like seven dollars or something a really really good sale and this one is called birthday wish it's like a coppery shade I actually wore this at fame expo on the second day um, I bought this shade called blitz it's like a really deep copper I haven't opened this one yet um, then I bought this one called pop Paparazzi. It's still in the box, but it's like a really deep black and it has all of these different colored sparkles in it um, I bought this one called insomnia, which is really cool looking. It's like a black brown green It's crazy like I can't I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this But <laughs> I also got this shade called sweet dreams and it's another really light kind of golden champagne um, This one I think has a little bit of silver sparkles in it then I went to Inglot cosmetics I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Inglot or not, but they're a pretty well-known brand and I really love their products I have have lots of their lipsticks I have their eyeshadows I have a palette that I made a while ago and they were 40% off at fame expo so I got a few things first thing I got was a blush palette you have to you buy the palette and then you buy you know each color of blush that you want and I got the four sand the four pan palette because um, I didn't really need an eight pan palette and this palette I think it was like 40 40 dollars with uh, the palette and the blushes so that was not that bad at all because these blushes are going to last me forever like 
I don't even need any more blush, but I wanted to get these because um, I never tried Inglot blushes before, and since I love their shadows, I figured to give them their blushes a try, and I picked out these four shades, and they all have numbers, and I'm not sure what the numbers, I mean, I, I don't remember which number, but um, I will do a full separate review on the blushes later, so I'm just going to show you the colors for now. I definitely love Inglot's palettes. They're really sturdy, and the magnets on them are super strong. You could totally drop these palettes. Like, I've dropped my eyeshadow palette and I've been fine like and it was it's crazy I love their eyeshadows too but I didn't purchase any because I just got a palette full of their shadows at IMAT so I didn't need it and um, so anyway I got these uh, I got a lipstick and a lip gloss this lipstick is in the shade 176 like I said they just have numbers they don't do like names they don't do actual names in Inglot so sometimes it gets kind of confusing because like you can forget whatever the number is so here is what 176 looks like it's a really really bright like blue based red and their lipsticks are amazing this is a shine cream finish kind of lipstick it doesn't have any um, glitter or shimmer in it but it's very 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 shiny and it has like that creamy texture and I have some of their matte lipsticks I have I have a few of their lipsticks and I really loved all of them so I finally purchased a red one I didn't have a red lipstick by Inglot and I was like going crazy um, and then I got this lip gloss right here which is called a sleek cream and they have like a bunch of different finishes of these glosses as well but I chose a cream finish one and this is in the shade 95 it comes in this kind of like little test tube looking thing and it just has a nice doe foot applicator it smells like vanilla it's really really pleasant I love the way it smells it's like really it reminds me of like lip smacker vanilla that's what it smells like and I, I love it um, anyway this shade is so pretty 95 just a really nice everyday pink nothing too crazy nothing too sheer it's just like a nice in the middle kind of color then I went to Nigel Beauty and Emporium. Nigel's is a big makeup store. I believe it's in Hollywood. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure, but I know it's in LA somewhere. And they're kind of like Mimi's, you know, they're just a big makeup retailer. And they had um, Sugar Pill, they had OCC Cosmetics, they had a few other brands too with them. I think they had Beauty Blender there. Um, but anyway, I did pick up a Sugar Pill eyeshadow and look at their packaging. It's so, so cute. I have a few Sugar Pill pressed eyeshadows. I also have a few of their pigments, but I never looked at this color before. It's just a really pretty kind of like bluish teal like I just I, I love blue and especially this shade right here I love it it's called mochi and it's a matte kind of like just teal I, I can't even describe how pretty this is it's very vibrant but at the same time it's really blue and then I also purchased some OCC cosmetics things I got some lip tars and um, this one right here is called RX it's a really bright vibrant like true blue and they told me I can use this to make things more cool tone because you can totally mix lip tars and make like your own colors and everything like that's the whole concept of lip tars um, you know to kind of like create your own color so that's RX right there it comes with a little lip brush and everything and then I also got this shade this is a stained gloss this is actually like a pigmented glossy finish lip tar so it's not a matte finish like their original ones and this is called what is this Aurora it's such a pretty color it's kind of like a bright coral pink shade and I've been I've been really into corals lately especially for summertime so Aurora was right up my alley and this one right here is in the shade new wave this is also a stain gloss so it's just like a it's a gloss it has a glossy finish but it will also stain your lips like a lip tar does and I also got this right here which is called their what is this um, cosmetic color pencil and basically you can use this for an eyeliner and for a lip liner it's in the shade pool boy which I have the lip tar of and it's like a really nice light blue color it kind of matches my nail polish and um, I just had to get this because I love wearing blue lipstick and blue lip gloss but sometimes blue bleeds it tends to bleed out on me for whatever reason so I figured this would be like the perfect product to kind of like line my lips and make my blue lips look more defined of course I had to go to Namie's which is another store I actually just went to their store for my birthday and they I think they're in like West Hollywood I don't know I'm really bad with directions but I went to their store and it's gorgeous I've been to it in person they have everything I swear like hair products skincare they sell lime crime there they have makeup forever like they have everything there. So anyway, 
anyway, I love the Namie store and of course I had to stop by their booth at Fame Expo because they had like a nice corner. Every brand was like built off into its own makeup counter if that makes sense. Like they had a Lorac counter, a Makeup Forever counter, Laura Mercier, Too Faced. They had gorgeous cosmetics. They had cover effects. They had um, a few other brands, Bobbi Brown as well, but I just got a few of my favorite things and also some new things I wanted to try. And the first thing I went to Too Faced of course and I picked up a melted lipstick. This is in the shade Ruby and I'm wearing it on my lips right now. It kind of dried down to a matte finish and these are really really pigmented. Oh it's called Melted Ruby. I'm sorry. These are really really pigmented. This is like one layer that I've had on for like three hours and it really is very vibrant but I will say that I have been experiencing a little bit of bleeding throughout the day so I'm not too sure how this is going to hold up in the summertime right now but I just wanted to try it out because it was 40% off. So that is Melted Ruby and it has like this little squeeze tube applicator and you just kind of like put it on like a like a lip gloss and at first it's really shiny I don't know if you guys can see that but at first it kind of has like a satiny finish and it smells like candy so I mean that's always a plus plus. and I also got another melted lipstick this is in the shade melted marshmallow and I just really love the packaging I think that the whole concept of this is really cool like a liquid lipstick that's supposed to be long wearing but I'm not so sure about that claim yet because this is the first time I'm wearing it I also got a few other Too Faced goodies I got a La Creme lipstick and you guys know I love these and look at the packaging like it just looks like a fairy tale fairy book story I don't know it just it's so I think it's so pretty. This shade is called Razzle Dazzle Rose. It's like a really pretty perfect everyday mauvey pink and I'm all about these dusty pinks especially for everyday like for work and everything. I love shades like this and I don't know why I didn't buy this sooner but I have it now and I'm happy. I also got a Too Faced blush. This is their Sweethearts Perfect Flush Blush and these are the little heart shaped blushes. I know you guys have probably all heard about and seen these um, blushes like on the internet before and I got this shade called Peach Beach. This is like kind of a bronze peachy one and here's peach beach it's a really pretty like tri-colored um, kind of feels like a baked blush type of thing and I love the fact that you can use like each color individually or you can swirl them all together so that is peach beach and I love those sweethearts blushes I have two other shades and they're just really gorgeous then I also finally purchased the Too Faced prime and poreless primer this is such a nice primer like this is a product that every time I went to Ulta or Sephora I would like swatch it and feel it on my hand but I never wanted to buy it full price because it's like I think it's like 30 or 40 dollars full price and it's just I never could justify spending that and I just finally got it because it was 40% off and this is their skin smoothing face primer it's supposed to fill in your pores and you know kind of fill in all the fine lines and just be like a really nice kind of smooth surface kind of primer so I got this and I just love their packaging I just think it's so well thought and it's so put together so then I purchased a bunch of stuff with Smashbox this is my favorite highlighter I'm wearing it today it is called their Soft Lights, and mine actually cracked, so I wanted to get a new one. This is in the shade called Shimmer, and it's a really beautiful rose gold kind of shade. I've, I've worn it in so many, like, get ready with me's and things like that. You all know about this if you watch my videos because it's my absolute favorite highlighter over the Mary Luminizer from The Bomb. It's just gorgeous. And I got the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. This is a half shimmer, half matte palette. It comes with this double-ended brush, and it also came with a little travel size of the Full Exposure mascara which I love I have the full size and I've always loved this mascara I'm wearing it today on my upper and lower lashes then I purchased the Smashbox photo finish hydrating primer I've never tried the hydrating version before but I have and I love the original photo finish I have like three tubes of that right now and um, they're like travel sizes that I always get with their kits and I love it I didn't want to purchase that full size because I kind of wanted to try hydrating since my skin is very dry and I think it's so cool like it looks blue and hydrating and you guys know I'm all about hydrating everything so there is that it was on sale great deals then I purchased one of their new lip glosses I think this is called the be legendary lip gloss and this is in the shade legendary it's like a really I think it like yeah legendary and it's a really really kind of like true red lip gloss I haven't even opened this yet but I've seen these all at Ulta and Sephora they have a ton of shades to choose from but you guys know I love red so I got this 
the packaging is so sleek and cool I just I love it so that was everything from Smashbox then I headed over to Makeup Forever and unfortunately at Namie's they weren't selling like everything Makeup Forever had to offer which I was a little bit disappointed in instead I just picked up a backup of my favorite Makeup Forever HD foundation I have an open bottle right here I'm wearing it today this is in the shade 110 and I absolutely love this this is my favorite high-end foundation went over to Laura Mercier instead and I picked up two of my favorite hydrating primer because I just ran out and I'm having an empties video coming soon so um, you'll see my empty bottle of the hydrating primer but anyway I picked up two of these guys because they're so amazing and um, I've been using this primer for years now and it's my absolute favorite primer and of course I had to stop by one of my favorite lipstick brands of all time which is Lime Crime Makeup and look at this bag have to say that Lime Crime was so so cool to me they were like they seriously were amazing and they gave me some products because they know like I've been a fan of theirs for years now and it was crazy like I was not expecting that but I was you know um, one of the ladies who works there she was like oh what what do you want you know just tell me and I was like are you serious right now like I was having like a like a little bit of a heart attack first thing that I got to pick out was this lipstick called mint to be and it's a really nice like light pistachio green and I've never used this I mean I have a few lime crime lipsticks that I've purchased in the past but I haven't tried out this shade before and it's like seriously a light green lipstick I don't own anything this color actually this is their special packaging because it is their six year anniversary and they added like little stars all over it and it says um, their new boxes right here they say lime crime sixth anniversary and it's just so cute everything ties in they had like the cutest booth there it was this they called it their selfie wall and it was like this really light pink wall and it had all of these different colored lipsticks on it and I took pictures in front of it with Doe and a few of the girls from the Lime Crime team so check out my Instagram if you want to see pictures. I was also gifted these lipsticks right here. This one is called Chinchilla or Chin yeah Chinchilla and it's like a really cool like grayish purple. I don't have anything that looks like this either and I once again I don't know if it's going to look good on me because it's kind of like a really really cool toned gray like it's a serious straight up gray lipstick and I don't know about this guys. Tell me what you think of this color but I'm excited to try it I mean it's something new and it's just I mean I love lime crime lipsticks I have a lot of their colors I have no she didn't I have geradium I have retro futurist my favorite airborne unicorn de lilac and stiletto like I have a ton of them but there were a few shades that I still wanted to try out this one right here is called great pink planet it is like a really light baby pink and I have never tried anything like this from lime crime before I have one of their pink lipsticks but it's a velveteen so I'm not sure how this pink is gonna look on me either Either, but it smells so good these lipsticks smell like marshmallows then I got this shade right here which is called Cosmo pop and it's a really light kind of peach creamy shade and I've never really worn this or anything like this before then I got this shade right here which is called glamour 101 it's a really gorgeous kind of deep red and I think that this is going to be perfect for fall I mean I would totally wear it right now as well but I just love I've seen this shade on like all of their promos and everything and I never got it so I was like I need me some glamour 101 and and it just looks stunning. I love red, so there's that one. Then I have, um, last but not least, I got Poisonberry. And it's like a really crazy, shimmery, metallic purple it's like a deep purple and I don't own anything metallic like this I don't know if you guys can tell from just seeing it in the tube but it's like a really deep gorgeous like it reminds me of Maleficent for whatever reason I don't know why and then um I got they gave me their um lime cream eyeshadow helper which is like a little eyeshadow primer and look at the box once again super cute packaging um I never tried their eyeshadows before so I actually bought a shadow palette after they gifted me the primer because I was like I want to test out their shadows too so I got they, they gave me this little cute primer and I've heard so much good things so many good things about this um, so yeah that's what led me to purchase this I got this myself this is one of their eyeshadow palettes and they have a few to choose from I didn't know which ones would look good on me but I was like talking with one of the ladies there and she was she was saying oh you should totally try out the palette D Antoinette so here's what the palette D Antoinette looks like these are all of these shades there's five shades to choose from and these ones on the end right here are matte finish and they're very vibrant but they're yet they're pastel at the same time which I thought was really interesting and then this shade down here is like a really metallic silver 
and it comes in this nice little metal tin. This is my first Lion Crime shadow palette, so I'm really excited to try this out with the eyeshadow helper. And then they also gifted me this velveteen, which is called Salem, and it's a really deep brown, kind of like, it's a matte finish because their velveteens are matte. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of them, but you've seen me wear them before in my videos, and I have suede berry red velvet. I have um, the other clueless which ones that I purchased, which are Salem and, no, not Salem, uh, Black Velvet and Wicked. Those are really awesome. And I, I never purchased Salem because I didn't think it would look good on me, but Katie was like, you have to try this, and it's going to look so good on you and I was like are you sure girl this is like a straight up brown but I, I tried it on and I was like you know what this is actually kind of cool I don't have anything brown like this so there it is doe foot applicator and it's like a really really crazy pigmented brown almost black I really love the way it looks though it's so unique and I think it would look great with like a really intense black brown smoky eye so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this but I have plans for you I went to the booth at Lime Crime last year and everybody was so welcoming and so kind to me and this year it was like it it was so crazy like they were so kind to just gift me things that, and let me pick them out myself which was even nicer because like you know sometimes you like you get gifted things but you want to make sure that you'll actually use them so I was like they let me pick out which colors I wanted and I thought that was the coolest thing because you know not only are you letting me try your products but you're letting me pick out the colors I wanted so um thank you so much Lime Crime like I was not expecting anything like that and you guys are so so cool and so sweet to me like every time I hang out with you guys I like like, I'm so blown away that you guys are just so nice, and it was awesome. Like, I've been a customer of Lime Crime for years, and I was just, like, it was so cool that they, you know, remember who you are. And that was it for everything I got at, um, Namies and Lime Crime. I also got a few other things, which I will show you, but that was it for, like, the major brand brands that I bought. This was day two. I didn't really think I would be purchasing anything day two because I was trying to vlog more since there were less people, but since the lines were so low, I had the chances to, like, check out some of the brands I didn't see on day one and that was of course Anastasia Beverly Hills don't know if you guys have ever heard of them but they are like the people to go to for brow products and as you all know if you watch my videos I'm in love with their dip brow I have the shade ebony and this is what I've been using lately but I purchased they have some new shades of dip brow so I had to get their latest one which is called um I think it's medium brown yeah. so this is what the dip brow pomade looks like this is the shade medium brown and it's just a little bit lighter than ebony and I I really like it for something different. I was chatting with the girls there. Anastasia was there herself and um, it was really cool to talk with them and get their recommendations and they were like, yeah, if you want something lighter, go for medium brown. It's our newest shade. They had like four new shades there, so definitely have been loving it. I'm wearing it today with my NYX brow powder. And I also picked up another brow whiz in the shade Ebony. You know, this is their brow pencil that everybody loves and I've used up two of these and let me tell you, they are my favorite brow pencil. So of course I had to get them on sale and then then I also picked up their lavish palette which is this I mean it comes with like this crazy little um, packaging but and these are what the shadows look like themselves it's really really cool but I don't know if my palette is like broken I don't know if it's supposed to be just a plastic cover because I thought that was kind of cheap but anyway this is what the shadows themselves look like and I don't really have anything like this a color combination like this that's so different then I went over to check out morph brushes or morphe whatever you want to say morph brushes and I heard uh, Jeffree Star, I don't know if you guys know who he is, he's like a beauty queen slash singer slash he's gonna have his own makeup line slash clothing designer I guess. Um, he like pimps out morph brushes, he always talks about them and um, you know I figured if Jeffree Star likes it, it's probably, I don't know, good, I don't know, I really don't know. I just like Jeffree Star so I kind of tried them out because of him and I've always been a fan of him since I was like 12 years old. I know that's really really weird but in case you didn't know, I love Jeffree Star. And um, he wasn't there, unfortunately. He was there the year before, but um, he wasn't there. But anyway, I picked up all of these brushes and a few of their eyeshadows. They have makeup as well. They have makeup palettes that kind of look like BH Cosmetics and stuff. But anyway, I picked up like five of these little angled um, liner brushes. These are, I think these are synthetic, and they were $2 each. And they look just like my Sigma E65 brushes, which are the brushes I use every single day for my cat liner and for my brows. So that's why I went crazy and I picked up five of these guys. Then I also picked up this crease brush right here. It's called M431 and it just looked perfect for the crease. You know,
now and it was also two dollars and this is also natural hair purchased this spoolie brush right here which has a really nice long handle nice wooden handle and um i have a spoolie brush from elf but I, this one felt really sturdy for two dollars so really excited about that spoolie brush and um these are all just the same angled liner brush that i picked up and these are their eyeshadows that i got they this is just a basic like cream color i figured i could use it it's matte i figured for like a highlight matte highlight and this is the shade 03 it just comes in a little pan so i'll probably put it in my z palette but i don't know they were really really pigmented and they felt nice and soft and they were two dollars each so hopefully um they're good i haven't put them on my eyes yet but then i got this shade called 20 and it's a really like soft nice shimmery brown i didn't even know they had makeup at morph brushes so i was kind of like shocked that they had makeup there but it seemed like good quality so i just picked up two of those i went to bond bliss this is a like bath and body kind of brand they sell body products they make these little scrubs and these are the body scrubs these are like um you can get up to two uses out of them the lady told me and these i bought four for ten and um they're like they smell so good first of all um they had a bunch of different scents but i chose tropical delight oatmeal milk and honey black raspberry vanilla which i'm really excited for and vanilla and brown sugar so those are the four scents that i picked out but they also had like you can buy full tins full of each flavor that you like or scent or whatever so if i i figured whichever one i like next time i see them i'll go buy a full tin so that's exactly what they are just little body scrubs really excited then i also got these um a really sweet girl came up to me she said that she watches my videos and um i'm actually i actually knew her girlfriend that was with her and she um owns this brand called strobe cosmetics and she wanted me to try these out and she gave me some really cool like blue colors and i love blue so i was like thank you so much you know she just like ran up to me and was so sweet we took a picture together it says they're cruelty free and vegan and they're made in california so that's pretty cool and um this shade right here is called aqua babe it's like a really really pretty like aqua just <laughs> really pretty aqua of course it's aqua it's called aqua babe and yeah so i haven't tried it yet but there's that then this one is called a sea glass it's like a deep blue and then this one is like a pearly white shade it's called blow and um yeah so it's cruelty free and vegan and this shade is lip safe so i guess some of them are lip safe as well which is pretty cool and um yeah so i haven't even opened these yet but i'm really excited they have sifters that's really nice and last but not least i stopped by this booth called city color cosmetics and i actually tried one of their products um i found it at like rite aid it was a two dollar eyeshadow palette and i remember loving it i still own it to this day and i decided to stop by their booth because it looks like they had really expanded their product line and they had lipsticks lip glosses highlighters bronzers blush i mean like they had everything there and it was all like two three four dollars really affordable prices i was in the middle of shopping i had like four things in my hand i was ready to go and then um their one of their employees came up to me and she was like oh you're holly um i know you we ha we follow you on instagram and i was like what that is so cool and she gave up she walked up to me after that and she gave me this big bag full of stuff and it literally had all of the products that i I was gonna buy in them and I was like I was so so grateful like I had never been gifted anything like that big before I was like I, I kind of was just like I didn't really know what to do I was like thank you so much like I kept saying thank you because I was just so excited and um, this has so much stuff in it that like if I showed you every single thing it would like take so long and I know you guys say like I talk a lot in my videos so I'm just gonna show you a few really cool things that I'm really excited about first is their B matte lipsticks these are two dollar lipsticks and they have really gorgeous really pigmented colors i was swatching them all at their booth next product i'm really excited about is this blush quad it comes with four different blushes they're all matte finish i think yeah they look very matte in here anyway and i just thought this was so cool to have like a palette that was like four or five dollars like how cool is that right so i have that to try out then i have this sunlight trio blush highlighter and bronzer and these look like relatively light shades so i was very excited about that because you know they look like i could pull them off it has this little highlighter which is very golden this peachy pink and this kind of like deep coolish taupe brownie shade it's very cool tone i'm so so grateful and excited that i got to try this out because i was gonna buy that anyway the whole experience was so awesome like it was very laid back the first day was actually a little bit intense because i feel like saturday is the day that you really want to get your shopping done in case things sell out because on sunday like when they sell out they're gone they don't have restock the lines at fame expo are a lot Lot less intense I mean I think the longest I waited was like half an hour I'm not even joking you and I literally got um, you know 
know most of the same brands were there that IMEDS had and I think it was really cool that they had um they had like a VIP lounge at Fame Expo which is cool like it's just like this little area where you can relax and have a drink and just sit down and of course it was so awesome getting to meet all of you guys who came up to me I was just, I was like blown away honestly like I didn't really think that many people were gonna be there that like watched me anyway it was surreal like it was crazy it was awesome like I totally want to do it again I would do it all over again and I mean like it was awesome getting to meet you guys I can't say that enough I know I'm rambling on but it really was and um, it was so cool like thank you to those of you who came up to me I so appreciate it that's it for my fame expo 2014 haul I hope you all enjoyed it I know this is gonna be a super long video because I talk a lot and I got a lot of stuff and like I said I wasn't expecting to get that much stuff but the deals were so great and the lines were so short that it was like really hard to not get stuff so I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and of course I will have my vlog video up soon of fame expo and like my experience like what I did and um, all of the things I saw so that will be up shortly I hope you guys enjoyed this haul if you were there let me know what you guys got I love you guys so much thank you for coming out and seeing me I hope you enjoyed this haul and as always thank you so much for watching